Hello, I'm back. And, uh, well, I'm still playing as Rebels, surprisingly. I thought it would go back and forth a lot more often. Or, I don't know, maybe these, uh, maybe these first few missions, because, I mean, I'm still getting, uh, what's the word? Like, tips and stuff? Like, it still feels very much like a tutorial. So, I don't know, maybe they're trying to get me used to, to flying before I get to the harder ships. I don't know, I, I always felt like ties were harder to fly than the Rebel ships. Rebel ships got shields, ties don't. And I was wondering if they would, uh, if they would add that to this game, and I guess they did. Oh, fucking finally, man. Those loading screens. I feel like I've aged five years waiting for it to start. And then when it does, everyone's really out of sync when they speak. Let's see. What's she gonna sound like? Now the Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see them try and take it. You know, back home, after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. I'm guessing the commander has something similar in mind for the Star Destroyer. Right? Otherwise, what's the point? At least Wedge picked the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron still be fapping around at Yavin. <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the commander and see what's next. All right, so I guess it's fixed, which is good. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but there are like a, I don't know, like awkward pauses. Now Reminds me of me. was a fun mission. Even better than beating my time on the Death March circuit. We got to steal a Star Destroyer and help our friends doing it. And see Yavin. We still have allies on the fourth moon, but I've never been there. There was an energy at Yavin like I've never felt anywhere else. It was... Chaotic and serene, all at once. The Empire corrupts the energy of every planet it touches. But I can always feel the good buried beneath that. And that's what we fight for, the good. Anyway, I saw Frisk bothering Commander Javes earlier. Knowing Frisk, the Commander might appreciate some backup. Hmm. That's back, Gunk Droid? Oh, I mean, I guess that's cool. I know Gunk Joy's got a cult following. We'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. You hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen, all I can tell you is the basics. Lender. Hmm? in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. The Star Destroyer we stole? We have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of the hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible. But you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Hmm. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Am I still flying an X-Wing this mission? Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. And why I'll weren't we the with the, time is right. the Star Destroyer this whole time? If they really wanted us to keep it safe, I think that would have been the best call. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nan Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Clon Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. Did these guys come out in the Clone Wars? Because I, I don't remember seeing her down. species me, anywhere. You have never seen a finer crash landing. Maybe I'm just blanking out. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before. But they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. 
but anyway, we should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. Man, I really wish my character would this talk. Is my fault. I feel like I'm eavesdropping and they're just like project. <laughs> including me in the conversation because they pity me. Auto. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know, I know. But I'll reach out to Hosni and Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. Ah, poor Hosnian. Ooh, I do fly an A-Wing. First string KO. We were just talking about what happened to the Victorum, and Keo had one Keo. of those. Uh, what do you call them? It's just a hunch frisk, that's all. I'm good with faces, bad with names. So what do you think happened? I feel like it was the Imperials. They probably sabotaged the hyperdrive before our soldiers could get them off the ship. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him. It's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. I can't reach out and touch it like, well, like others could. But sometimes I just have a feeling about things. She's Force sensitive? I don't like to talk about it. These days, you never know who in the galaxy is listening. Now, let's get serious, huh? When are you going to have a premonition about the Carillion Lottery? Really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> we really should get going. A-wings go as fast as you can fly them. Okay. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial Starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. Oh yeah, I know. Ooh, I can't customize it. We okay. have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. Flip short range. No, I think I'll keep the normal ones. Quick lock missiles. Mines. I have these on my X Wing on multiplayer. You yeah, know, I think I'll keep these. Standard hull. Counters lock on weapons. Okay, you know, I'll you think know I'll use that. Them. I'll keep my shield normal. I like to have a shield that recharges. I don't like to have to worry about it never coming back. All right, let's do this. I've flown an A-Wing, I think, in two matches online. And that was, that was okay. Had different blasts, though. I had the blue ones that disable ships, the ion cannons. Missed my X-Wing, though. I still would rather fly an X-Wing. Oh, that is really fast. Man, this is so annoying in multiplayer. They rarely ever kill me with just ion weapons. I usually just lose control and crash into an asteroid or something. commands target an enemy and tap H to order a command I'm not the commander though the hell they listening to me for Shuttle's down. 
Here we go. Where's the other shuttle? We can't let a single shuttle board the Victoria. God damn. You know, the ion the ion blasters are pretty good. But they don't do enough damage. I think I might have to switch up to these. This feels like something an interceptor would have anyways. Come on. Where'd he... Oh, he hid in the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. Where's the other one? Nice. Oh no, not nice. I'm surprised they didn't have ties from the beginning. Turn faster, please. Only one shuttle left. One shuttle is all they need. There we go. Imperial transports are done for. That's the last of those blasted shuttles. Just in time. Systems are up. Time to fix the hyperdrive. There aren't as many cutscenes in this game as I would like. I think I might have mentioned that already. I'm calling in Y Wing support. They'll lead a bombing run on those carriers. Don't let any TIE fighters near them. Alright, Y Wings are here. Vanguard, if we lose our bombers, we're done for. Take out those TIEs. Whoops. Defend. Oh, come on. Well, I can't deal with that right now. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Gotcha. There's G. Oh, that's how you do it. Whew, that was pretty cool. Didn't think that was going to work. If only I could do that in multiplayer. What is this? Squadron, take down the rest of these ties. Is it a space station? I'm a bit more curious about where we are. Oh, just one? That's the last of them. Alright. Your timing couldn't be better. We're almost done. Our bombers are out of here. Thanks for the backup. I mean personally, I feel like if he was able to survive all of that, he kinda deserved to be let go. Learn to drift. I did it already. Learn this racing in the Koshi Star Circuit. 
first. Transfer all power to your engines and fly as fast as you can. Yes. Now we're gonna buzz the bridge of the Victorum. Be ready to boost. Ooh. I'm feeling the pressure. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I've done it a bunch of times. I just don't think I've done it right. <laughs> oh god. Someone the Empire's never gonna catch again. Sorry, team. It's for the greater good of the new republic. I'll uh practice drifting later. Without spectators. They were being nice to me. I don't think I don't think I did it right. Hyperdrive's operational, Vanguard. What do you say we get out of here? There we go. That's a bit closer to what to what they were talking about. Joining formation. Wait, what? All right, Victorum, we're in position. Where are we headed? Somewhere classified. Just send you the coordinates. Got him. Punching them in now. Jumping to hyperspace in three, two, one. Punch it. Uh, what? <laughs> the hyperdrive failed again. Uh oh. No. A very Han Solo of them. Yes. Whoop. This is taking too long. Don't tell me this is too much for you, Chris. No. Trigger fingers getting tired is all. Where is he? You know, I saw a video earlier today that uh, told me you actually can, well, you actually can choose how much of the engine you want amplified and how much of the lasers and shields. It doesn't have to go all the way. Raider. Oh shit. How much longer? Realigning the transpassator now. Speak basic. About halfway there. Thank you. Enemy reinforcements inbound. Shields are disabled. Raiders almost dead.
There we go. That's what I like to see. Wait, does that say Raiders, plural? not showing up oh there it is two of them damn Thank you. Come on. Die faster, please. Yes, it works. We're ready to go. Finally, Vanguard all in behind the Star Destroyer. Don't have to tell me twice. You have the new jump coordinates, Vanguard? Affirmative. See you on the other side, Victor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! That was pretty cool. I think I like this mission the most so far. This is where the boss keeps his secret project. Who'd want to get this close to the Ringali Nebula? I believe that is the idea. It's a good type of junkyard. They use those same kind of lasers in Fallen Order. Or Cow Works. Except they were taking down Clone Wars ships. I wonder if Chopper's gonna come out. Oh, why? That's the least amount of medals I've gotten so far. I mean, at least I didn't die once. Not even close. Raider Wrecker. Hang on. 15 minutes or less. 30% hull integrity. Destroyed our Imperial Raiders during the Victoria. Yeah, okay. That one's gonna be pretty tough to do. I'm in an A-Wing. How, how do they expect me to do damage? Okay, I'm gonna call it here. It's been fun, but I got a... Uh, I got other show to watch. I think for sure. Maybe I shouldn't say anything, but I get a feeling for sure the next mission will play as the Empire. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.